on on that stuff so hey we all have our own little niche like Jacob likes to say but me personally I don't I don't even know how to put this like I'm gonna show you a clip that was given to me by another YouTuber and I cannot remember his YouTube channel name. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Comment down below. Tag your channel. That way everybody knows where it came from. But Ford guy put his video out. I looked at it. Um, his video, you can't see what actually happened. Trying to pull out of the other side of Quaker Steak. Um, it was horrible at that when we left. So when I when I got to the main road, I looked, looked left. I seen one car there that you see pass in the video. I go to pull out, I look back, there's another SUV coming at me, I, I mean, I pulled out in front of them, it wasn't, I wasn't paying enough attention, basically, I accelerated, never spun tires, the back end didn't come out from underneath itself, I didn't do any kind of burnout or anything. My car is loud. I'm not going to say it's not loud because the car is loud. I never even got over 37 miles an hour. Like when, when I was crossing the bridge, I got out of it, went into second gear because there was another car that I was coming up on. You know, I got myself out of almost getting hit. Um, And then, boom, I get lit up. Um, I can't understand where the cop came from. Yes, I got a reckless driving ticket. I got to come back. Luckily, we live here in Tennessee, so it was only a two-hour drive. I got to come back April 17th for a court case that I don't think I should have to come to. Um, once again, you know, guys, you do you. I mean, you know, if that's what you guys want to do when y'all leave the meets, then do it. I'm not going to stand on nobody's side on the Pitts Facebook page. Y'all can sit there and bash everybody. You can complain about it. I get it. I do. I understand. Not once was I trying to do it. I mean, we'd go back to last year. Ford guy got me and my same crew leaving Hard Rock Cafe. I didn't do anything stupid. Uh, because it was raining. I mean, I know the limitations of my car. I personally have built that car. 
each part that has went on that v on on that Mustang, I have done myself. <clears throat> Nobody else has done it. Yeah, I mean, I've got guys like Remy, Hunter, Jacob. These guys help me with this car. Um, I mean, you know, Stacy. You know, everybody chips in in our group and we all help each other try to get stuff done so that car cliff is what I call him he is a the car is made for cornering like that that's that was my main goal with the car I wanted something that I could take on the dragon have fun with Take the autocross course. Have fun with. I'm not. I have fun with my car. Like today. The drag strip. Had a blast. Because I was able to fully open up the car. See all the hard work that I put into this thing. Actually pay off. Um. I have no intentions on doing that kind of stuff on the road, on the street. I'm not going to do nothing stupid. But this this ticket, <laughs> me getting pulled over, is such an irritation. And I've told a couple of people that have came up to me because obviously everybody knows, hey, that YouTube guy, he's the one that got the ticket. I got it. I took one for the team, I guess. Um, we're going to fight it. I, I think we have a good good chance of getting out of it. But, what I'm going to come on here and say is, like, you know, I I do agree with, with the, uh, the people that run pits. To an extent, we don't need to screw it up for none of us because I've met so many people this year that was their first year coming up here and this is our fourth year, yeah, fourth year coming to pits and man, like I've been to Mustang Week. Unfortunately, I didn't get to take Cliff because Cliff was broken at the time. Um, you know, me, I think me and Jake and Derek kind of disagree on it. Um, they like Mustang Week because there's different shows every day of the week. There's there's different meets. I ain't going to say shows, but there's different meetups every day, um, which is cool. I mean, I probably would have had more fun at Mustang Week if I would have had Cliff with me, but I didn't. So, what are we doing? We're going to go this year and see if we like it. But I really enjoy coming to coming up here for Ponies and the Smokies. It's um, a very well put on event. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys. For putting the event on. You know, especially moving us out of English Mountain Raceway over to Knoxville. That was a very nice peace of mind knowing that I'm not going to have to worry about different sections of the track being paved and How's this, you know, the suspension going to react? How's the car going to react to going over that? But, um, yeah, I mean, the, the whole, this whole ticket thing has just been, <laughs> I, I guess he thought he was going to make an example out of somebody, but I'm sorry. You know, I, I've watched these videos over and over and over. 
and not once did I see where I was being reckless. Yeah, I did rapidly accelerate. I guess they consider that reckless nowadays. But, I'm going to show you a clip right now. I'm going to put it in here. And I want y'all to look to the left when I pull out. Because I didn't see the other car coming. When I seen the other car, I took off. So, let's watch the clip real quick. And we'll be right back. Like I said, I know the car is loud. It sounded way more aggressive than what I was actually doing. Um, when I, when I, literally when I let out of the gas, I was doing 37. I know the speed limit on that road is 35. I was slowing down to 35 miles an hour. I just You know, I didn't want to be an example by those guys, by no means. And it's kind of irritating because the way that the officer handled himself, he wanted to make an example out of somebody. So, unfortunately, it was me. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I'll apologize to the pits crew, because, you know, I didn't want that kind of negative attention for me coming to, to the meet, but I can promise you this, I did nothing wrong. The way I seen it was I was getting out of the way of a car, trying to keep myself from getting hit. My car means the world to me. Um, but foremost, my wife was in that vehicle. And I was not going to let her get hurt, me get hurt. So, damn, yeah, man, it's... This is, I don't even know what to say. I mean, you tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment down in, in the uh, comments down below. Let me know what you, what you think. I was, I was always taught to drive defensively, and I think I, me not paying attention, if I would have been paying more attention, that would have never had happened. Um, so, oh right, guys, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here. I got a lot of work to get done. And, uh. Like I said, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Let's see. Let's see what everybody says. Do me a favor, though. If you're watching, smash that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications on. That way, when we post, you know that we have posted a video. And I will catch you guys tomorrow and Saturday at the car show. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to rain both days. 
so we get filming done, kick back and enjoy the rest of it. Guys, enjoy pits. Be safe out there. As always, we love you. Dream big. See you.